Hello, fellow Bubble developers. Nikolai Markovich from Echo Lake Technologies, echolaketech.com. In this video, I'm going to show you a design to allow your users to change their own password. But first, give me a thumbs up if you like these videos and subscribe to my channel so you get notified of upcoming videos. All right, to do a quick demo here, so change uh, password. And for here, type in the existing password. And I'm just going to go with something simple here and the account has successfully been updated so let's get into the design for this and the first thing we have here is this change password button and if you're not familiar with buttons basically come over here to visual elements and a button just like that to add it i didn't do any uh, changes to it, colors and so forth, just left it the way it is. Though I guess I did add a conditional here so that when the button is hovered, it just changes the background color. And if you're not familiar with that, it's basically under the condition here when the button is hovered. And then slide this up and then change, slide, scroll down here, change the background color and to that so that's all you have to do for adding this condition for when the button is hovered now let's get to the workflow and this is a fairly simple workflow and all it does is it shows this pop-up that I have and to get a pop-up basically element actions and then show and then the pop-up is password change and that's all there is to it. I'm going to delete that. And now I'm going to go back to the design here. And I'm going to show you the pop-up, which is change password right here. And in this password, I have a simple text field here that just says change password. Uh, if you're not familiar with the text field, just over here under elements. And I just typed in you know, change it or just a test here. And then I can go to the rich text editor and make some changes. I can make it bold, center it, and then change the color like that. Let me delete that. And I have three inputs here. And those are for the current password, uh, the new password, and just to verify the new password. So real quick on the input. So under input forms, input, just like that. And just note on here, um, I did change the to current password, new password, and verify. So the default is type here. The other thing to note that's different is that the content format is password. So the default value is text. You're going to want to change that to password. The other thing that I changed on here is that the input should not be empty. And that's the same for all of these. And so the input should not be empty. And that basically basically forces the user to input a, a value. Next, we have the button here for entering and the workflow. So the first step for this is update the user credentials. And basically what we're doing here is inputting the uh, existing password or the old password here. And then the new password here so that's basically this here, new password. And you'll notice the name of it, input new password change. And then this one here is verify new password change. So to the workflow here, I've got new password change, the value. And then here, verify new password change is value. And the next step here is to make changes to a user. So in this design, it's actually part of a, another design. And I'll put the link into the video here uh, to go and uh, verify or check to see if this is the first time the user has logged into the app. And then if this was a yes, then uh, they would go and drive another workflow and force the user to, to do a reset. Um, so that is reset equals no and next one is reset relevant inputs basically what that'll do is it'll reset all of these inputs so that the next time the user does a, a reset change or a password change 
um, the values are back to a blank. And then the last step here is to hide the pop-up. So just going through each of these steps. So step one, update the user credentials. That's under account. Update user credentials. The old password, so input current passwords value. Here you have an option of email change or password change. This design, we're just doing the password change. So the new password is the new password change here, value. And then require password confirmation. Yes, we'll check that box. And then input verify new password change value. And that's all there is for step one here. So let me delete this and to make changes to the user, it's under data, make changes to a thing. The thing is the current user. And then the field we want to change, and I gotta go over here because I don't remember the reset password. So I can start typing in here reset password and then equals and then the value no. So that's how we take care of step two here. Step three for resetting the input. So element actions and then over here it's group reset data and then the pop up change password. And one nice thing with bubble is you can see the the image of the pop up here to the left. So that's all we do for resetting that and hiding the pop up. So for this element actions again, hide and the pop up change password. And that's all there is for step four here. And that is basically all there is to this design for allowing your users to go and reset the password, their own password themselves. If you like these videos, again, give me a thumbs up. I do appreciate them and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.